When gentlemen discuss the paltry of ladies, they have no need to speak of rudery for ages. A proper chapel doff a cap and never cop a slap because the lady knows a topper type will always stop a gutter snipe. Take the modern sportsman, for example. They have no wish to sample. Just grab a bloody armful of flesh or cash or hooters and take and dash off like looters. Suit as they are not, polluters on the spot. When the sporting bourgeoisie discuss the fair to sexual sea, it really is a rum ill display. When reporting what they see, most romantically, this is the sort of thing that they say. Won't you smash it? Won't you smash it? Referring to a racket Now get your hairy hands off her pearly glands at once Don't let your daughter in the clubhouse, Mrs Worthington Don't let your daughter on the field of play The red hops may get her in the red tops for a while But then red spots may appear around her nervous smile She may use Mr Clifford to get on the lad mad charmer list But what you really need will be a bloody good pharmacist So don't let your daughter in the clubhouse, Mrs Worthington Don't let your daughter on the field of play Take her to the walls of your reverend bar She'll always look privileged in Harper's Bazaar And for pity's sake, don't let her into China White's They'll ply her with a Balthazar And say, won't you smash it? Won't you smash it? Go the early nineties hanging out the back of it The jargon of the crease is now the jargon of the street The blimps who fired fours, now pimps who squire whores Won't you smash it? Won't you smash it? And no, they're not referring to a racket Get your hairy hands off her pearly glands this instant, sir!